What's up, y'all? This is Sweet T Reacts, baby, where I give my honest opinion. What's up, y'all? What's poppin', y'all? What's up? Oh, it's me, the lovely Sweet T, and I'm on the motherfucking scene, and I'm bringing you some commentary. Tea reaction. You feel me? Some juicy tea. But, um, yeah. Y'all, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Uh, hit the bell notification button and make that thing go what? Ding, ding, dong. Ding, da, ding, 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 dong. Hey, the fuck? Y'all, let me tell you. And by the way, I always don't like to leave this out of my intro. I'm back with another what? Banger! And that's on a period, cool? <laughs> Shit, the fuck? All right, listen. I'm here to react about, um, and it's getting just a little bit, tad bit old because I've been sitting around watching a lot of commentary videos about Peach McIntyre. And so I've been sitting up on it and sitting and saying, man, I want to be a reaction channel myself. So I was like, wow, look at all this drama going on about Peach McIntyre. I'm a Peach Patch myself and my girl then went to the left and then started some shit. You feel me? I'm like, oh my goodness. Voicing her opinion, um, letting people know, you know, when she's mad. And so one particular person she was mad at and is continuing, continuing to be mad at right now and say she ain't got nothing to do with her no more. And she done called her out of her name and everything and saying um, all kinds of stuff about her. It's her God dang go mama. Miss Tracy. What? Yes, sir. Okay, so Peach McIntyre seems like uh, she has been traumatized by her mother. Um, she states in her video um, a post or whatever you want to call them about how her mom treated her, making her drink, uh, take a bath in her own bath water. Um, she was the black sheep of the family. Um, she said a whole lot of stuff about her mom. Um, you know, um, just how she treated her, uh, her sister better than she treated her. And uh, how she said, allegedly, that her mom said that her sister looked it better than her, allegedly. Um, her mom was like having her sister, the way Peach put it, up on a pedestal. And um, she acted like Peach wasn't nothing. And uh, she also, as a grown woman, she, when it's time for her mom to babysit, that uh, she charges her for babysitting and all that stuff. And um, she is just sick and fed up with it. And she just, not only that about that part, I don't know what happened to make her fall out this time around with her mom for good. I don't know what the heck took place to make her come to social media on her lives and on any type of video and just talk about her mom um, and say how she's totally done with her mom and her family. Not only her mom, she done with her brother, she done with her sister, she done with a lot of cousins and she just um, done. You know what I'm saying? So the people, the onlookers, the peach patches and the other people who has been watching her videos are tripping. Uh, they're going down in comment sections of her videos, talking of, you know, voicing their opinions about it, why she's on the live. They be saying stuff about it. Um, and she has to the offend, defend herself and start uh, bashing, you know, getting back at them about what they're saying and blocking some of them and all that. But um, I can relate to some of the people because when it comes down to a mother, you can have your differences with your mom. You can be them fell out with your mom, but I would say don't come to social media and say all that stuff about the woman who birthed you in the world. If your mama wouldn't have birthed you in the world, you wouldn't even be here today. 
and at least you know the mother didn't give her up for adoption and that's that goes for any mother who you know birthed the child in the world they could have did that gave you up for adoption they could have even let something happen to you so bad they could have aborted you you know had an abortion they could have um, not taken care of you and let you got hurt you know real bad like a type of neglect that you were a child they could have neglected you so bad that you could have got burnt real bad you know by something left on the stove um, hot water falling on your body and causing permanent scars and injuries anything could have happened you know what i'm saying but they raised you and yeah they're not perfect maybe they were raised a certain kind of way themselves and they're you know it's causing a chain reaction they figure to raise you in the same manner um so they but it wasn't acceptable in your eyes the way they were raising you i've been through the same thing my mother has passed away my grandmother she raised me though my grandmother she you know was rough and tough and strict and she said things to me she cursed me out she said things when she got mad um she did stuff i fell out with her a few times but i wasn't gonna show out on her in the public i wasn't gonna cuss her out to her face i wasn't gonna uh, bring it to social media and bash her because at the end of the day regardless of everything that's my seed uh i'm her seed rather um that's my my that's my relative that's my loved one that's my the person that birthed me in the world that's that that means a lot and we just can't go around bashing the person you know so at this time you know treacy I'm, I'm imagining she feel treacy tc whatever i think it's treacy feel this you know some type of way but at the same time i saw treacy make a video saying you know she know that her daughter you know, it's talking about her real bad on social media, but at the end of the day, she gonna be there for her whenever she comes, decides to stop it and come back. She's there because why? She love her and that's her daughter at the end of the day. Tracy says those things are not true, what she is saying. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like not social media is not the place because we got people who are watching contently they watching your videos just like you uh, uh, uh a reality show um day to day or uh whenever they choose to watch it but they make sure you're in their content of shows to watch you feel me and they're feeling some type of way and then we got some people who feel like they want to shut you down uh Nah, you, oh no, uh-uh. I ain't know she was like that. You know what I'm saying? You're surprising and shocking people because you're saying things like that against your mother. You got some people who love their mama to death. You got some people who can relate about their mama that uh, their mama wasn't shit or they, what they put it. Their mama did this, their mama did that, but they not going to do their mama like that on social media because at the end of their mama's mama. You know what I'm saying? A mama means something it's even in the bible about honor your mother and your father that your days might be long on the land which is lord that that god giveth thee so yeah even uh in the bible you're not supposed to disrespect or dishonor dishonor your parents your mother and your father you know what i'm saying so i believe you know that she should have kept it professional um kept it family oriented um but not go, not going to sharing all that right there about how she feel about her mom her mom watching the videos i know that hurt her mama to the core somebody you birthed in the world and that's the way they turn on you in front of the world and then recently miss treacy i saw a video where well i saw a post where impeach mcintyre mentioned this is when she before she fell out with her mom after this last child she had saying that she appreciated her because if it wasn't for her she don't know what she would have did miss treacy watched those kids for her while she was in there giving birth to her child allegedly 
And um, she wanted to thank her mama for doing that for her, that her mama was by her side when she had that child. And so if you know your mama done been by your side, why would you bash your mama? I don't care how mad you is at her. I know she probably hurt you in the past. Don't bring it to um, social media. You got a big following now. You got some of everybody watching you and their mama too. You got people with all kinds of opinions. And you got people who got uh, things in them. that um, That's why people start to do stuff like calling this person and that person on you on you because you're saying all kinds of stuff that's touching their heart and their soul and their beliefs and they don't agree with that. Now they, now they calling you out your name and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's just a bad game. It's just a bad situation to do. It's just a unwise thing. Um, you know, you was coming across as very smart, articulate, genius, um, like a, just a very uh, independent person, um, a real knowledgeable person, a real entertainer, but now you're showing your angry side. You wanna bring it to your platform. <laughs> not a good look, not a good idea, no ma'am. You are becoming a well-known person and right now, you really need a bodyguard, but you're not to that superstar status yet, and probably won't ever get to the superstar status unless you become like, uh, uh, you know how to rap, unless you just really going on and hit that, the rap world and going on and get out there and be a rapper, then you can, then you really have to get a body, bodyguard, but I think it's needed right now. You won't really need one if you stay low key, if you stay professional. But now you're putting yourself and your children in a dangerous situation. Um, not good, not wise. If you're smart, be smart about it. If you've done it, don't do it no more. Leave it alone. Uh, don't express no more opinions like that no more. Try your best to work on what you say to your audience on live. Um, I know people be saying some of the darnest things maybe to you on live, but be careful. Be careful what you say and what you do. The mouth is like a double-edged sword. I don't know where that's, that's at, but that's the saying, whether that's in the Bible. I think that's in the Bible. The mouth can be like a double-edged sword. So be careful. But, um, yeah, I'm just, just a little advice coming from me. And, um, you know, I didn't make this video to bash. It's just my, my opinion, my opinion only. Not here to bash, talk down on nobody, none of that. But I'm an older woman. And I feel like I should at least come up on this thing and voice my opinion on this thing. And I'm, I want to help in some type of way. Because I like that girl. Peach Mike and Tyre. She's entertaining. I love all her videos. I like, I like her. But she letting the, the hurt and the pain and whatever she experienced in her life. I'm not saying that's a lie. Whatever her and her mama went through. She want to share it with the world. <laughs> you just can't. You just can't. Maybe you can share it with a friend. Uh, you can share it with a close family member. You can share it with Wood. But on your platform, you can't bash your mom. It's not wise. It's not good. Your mama can have outcomes just like what happened at the casino. Chain reaction of Peach McIntyre's mouth. Chain reaction. Perfect example. Perfect example. One thing led to another. And then she was sitting there after she heard about her mom got into an altercation at the casino. She smiled. She smirked. She got smart about it. She act like she didn't care. She say she don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Ain't no way. And people looking at that. So all this stuff coming out your mouth. 
they're starting chain reactions and starting people to want to do this and to do that. Call this person and call that person and get these people involved in your life and have these people coming out to your house to check, do wellness checks and all this stuff. You're creating all of this. Leave it alone. Let's go on and let it die down. And let's get back to family vlogs, professionalism. Watch how you walk. Watch how you talk. You got one life to live. You want to be happy in life. You want to be a content creator with happiness. You want to make your money and be happy doing that. You don't want to be walking this world, walking this earth, and can't hardly show your face here or there. Go back to go back to your hometown or live and coexist in your hometown and have hatred or people hating on you. At one while when you was keeping it professional and keeping it family, when you went out in the public, Peach McIntyre, look a Peach. And she's smiling. Oh, hey, y'all, taking pictures. I don't know whether she's a signed autograph, whatever the case may be. All gravy, all good. Why? Because they had never seen that other side. Now you might run up on some people out there and they come for you some type of way. And you warned them. You say you don't feel safe. Y'all, please don't run up on me. Please don't come up on me. You know what I'm saying? But have you thought deep and hard? Why? In the past, did you have to say, please don't run up on me? Please don't. No, because you was keeping it professional. You was keeping it uh, family oriented. You was not telling people off and telling them, voicing your opinion about your family and letting out some some private stuff about family, what they done did, or what are all this stuff, all this rigmarole about family and about wood or about what up. You know what I'm saying? And y'all, stay tuned for another video because I'm going to voice my opinion on Peach McIntyre about the wood situation. I want to just talk about that whole situation. I got a gem to drop about that right there. I got a real good, shiny gem, a good piece of tea, a good piece of advice to drop about her and her talking about wood. I ain't going to say nothing to let the cat out the bag, baby. But anyway, I'm going to get up off that thing, y'all. I done held y'all long enough. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Comment down below what y'all think about what I'm saying. And like I said, Peach McIntyre, I care about you, girl. I can't say I love you because I don't know you like that. I could say I got some type of far off love for you. I care. I do care. And I think you need counseling. If, if you don't think you need counseling, uh, if you think that's a lie or you think I'm not right about that, counsel your own self. Look at your own self. Look at all the things that have stemmed and happened. Turn that shit around. Cut that shit out. Let's get back on track, girl. All right? It's your girl, the lovely sweetie, and I'm about this thing. Y'all comment, like, and subscribe, and your girl finna be ghosts about your face. Bye!